Well, hello everyone and welcome to Lithuania's capital city, Vilnius. Group F at the FIFA Futsal World Cup reaches its second match day with Iran against the USA, two nations who have started the tournament in very contrasting fashion. How thrilling it has been in Vilnius, the action down there on the court. And in terms of Group F, this is the state of play before the action does get underway. Both Argentina and Iran top with three points. Should they both win their next games, they will be assured of their place in the last 16 with a game to spare. Iran having beaten Serbia in their first game, while the USA suffering one of their heaviest ever losses, 11-0 against the defending champions. Well, it was certainly a return to a World Cup Finals to forget for the United States the other night, but all is not lost still. A massive learning curve and the chance to try and put that right here tonight. Much better second half performance it was. They only allowed three goals in against Argentina compared to the eight that they had conceded before half time. Those goals won't help in terms of trying to be one of the best third place teams here but their coach Dushan Yakitsa actually pre-tournament describing it as a miracle if they were to reach the knockout rounds something they have done before but not since the very early 1990s but now they face Iran in their second game and a team who were involved in a, a thrilling encounter against Serbia really having dominated much of the first half, even with the player sent off with Hamid Ahmadi seeing red, literally seeing red, so he is suspended for this one. Third, they finished in Colombia, creating history as the only Asian nation to have gone that far and finished that well at a World Cup Finals. They haven't had much to share about at the United States, but maybe tonight, maybe. Iran, along with the Argentina, they will have been seen as a favorite to get out of this group. But they were up against it at times against Serbia the other night. So there is still plenty to improve on there. Appreciation of the flags being brought out, ready for the teams to enter. The entertainment levels have not dropped since the first ball was kicked here in Vilnius. We've had tremendous drama, goals, skills and tears. We've had it all. Here's to another night of extraordinary drama at the FIFA Futsal World Cup 2021. So before the teams do come out, we will have our officials first making their way into the arena. Tarek El Katabi of Egypt is our number one referee for this one tonight. A very good evening to Cedric Pelissier from France and Nikola Jelic from Croatia as assistant referees. Mohamed Youssef, by the way, will be keeping a note of the time. And so here come the teams then, led by Iran and led by their captain, Ali Hassan Zadeh. They have come to Lithuania, by the way, with one goal, and that is to go as far as they did in 2016. 
and maybe even go on and win this competition. They firmly believe that they can cause a surprise or two. A win here will send them on their way, especially if Argentina win their game too. And then it'll all be about who finishes where, really, and the winners of this group will play the runners-up in Group E here in Vilnius. Currently at the start of play, that is Spain. As the competition in Group E and F gets underway for their second game tonight, but still plenty to sort out. And that is the team of the Iran. And now the national team of the United States of America. Please welcome the captain of the team, Moretti. Diego Moretti will lead out the United States. The Americans playing in their first World Cup since 2008, one of the leading nations at the start of the World Cup in the 80s and 90s, but this is all new. Every one of these players has never played at this level of the sport. Three players within the squad, age 20 and under as well, a massive plus in terms of the development of the sport in the United States. But this will be another terrific test. They'll hope that they don't suffer like they did in game one. And that is a team of the United States of America. So the teams are lined up. And before we get underway, as always, we will have the national anthems. Let's have a look at the team news for you then here tonight. The four run, Hamid Ahmadi is out suspended after his red card against Serbia in a really heated affair he was at their previous game. Ali Hassan Zeda brings quality to the table yet to score here in Lithuania. He top scored with five for Iran en route to third in Colombia. San Safidi will miss their final group game should he receive a, another yellow card here in this one. Big miss still though. With Hossein Taibi, he continues to miss out with injury. As for the United States, Thomas Pendeka, by the way, and Julian Escobar are booking away from a band themselves. Pendeka, the youngest talent 
in this squad of players. They were taught a bit of a lesson, really, at times against Argentina. Diego Moretti in goal, conceding 10 of the 11 goals. Where can goals come from at the other end, though? The strength, maybe, of Reggett. Pondeca's youthful quality, perhaps, too. Diego Bobadilla Morales into the group, by the way, with Everson Messiel not involved tonight. Well, the United States have been backed really well, and there's quite a number of Iranian fans inside the arena for this one too. Tarek El Khatabi from Egypt is our referee in the coin toss with the two captains, Hassan Zeda and Moretti. There is Saeed Nazema Sharia. It's the uh, man that guided them to the third spot in 2016, Dusan Yakitsa. Serbian will be coming up against the home landing Klaipeda in their final game. And now it's time to get down to business. How busy will Moretto be, Moretti be tonight? How busy will Samimi be down at the other end, perhaps? Sunset is ready. Mohamed Shajari is ready. Madi Javid is ready. We're all ready. Here is the countdown. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll. The second set of matches, Keiko Inc. in Group F at the FIFA Futsal. World Cup here in Lithuania. Iran, one of the leading nations of the game, can make sure their stay in this tournament is extended into the knockout rounds with a win. The United States rumbled on their return to the main stage in international futsal. 11 goals to nil. It finished against Argentina. No way is it going to be the same in this one, you feel. There is Hassan Zedat for Javid. And you can see already from the way that the United States have started, there is a, a determination to come out at Iran. They're looking to be competitive, at the very least, the Americans after. It's interesting the uh, comments from Yakitsa. Just after the game against Argentina, he felt maybe some of his players were feeling a bit of fear out there against Argentina. They blitz their way into a 5-0 lead, which is seven minutes on the clock. That's and now Chavit with the first effort, which goes well over. Ooh, now then with Samimi, how close was that? How close was that for being outside of his goal? And Hassan Zeta down at the other end, Moretti making the stop. And they're going to have a look at this. It's the first look at the screens for our officials. Video support called into action. was Samimi outside of his goal. He's way outside of his goal as he handles this. From that angle. When he's claimed it, although feet off the ground. And then as he lands. There's no doubt that he has held the ball whilst outside of his area. We are so early into this contest. And how big a swing could this be? 
There's no doubt that he lands inside his area. What's the decision? It looks like they've come to a conclusion. Well, it's a back pocket job, this. And he's red. This is amazing. An incredible start. And it's the second successive game that Iran have had a player sent off. And this time it's Ali Reza Samimi, their goalkeeper, for handling outside of his area. Bagheer Mohammadi is the goalkeeper to come on. And so an outfield player has come off for a two minute period now where the USA are going to be a player up. Well, step forward, Lucio Gonzalez now. But look how small a target he has got to aim at. Dead center, stick your laces through this. And Oran gonna survive. Gonzalez, yes they are. He barely had any space to aim at. Ponteca, the restart, the United States. Can they make something happen here? And Mohamedi with a stop again. And they're all over. Iran like a rash here at the United States. Looking for their first goal of these World Cup finals. Gonzalez now. They had a man sent off in the first game, in Hamid Ahmadi, and now they've had their goalkeeper sent off here in this second game. Gonzalez, Ponteca! And Mohamedi, having been brought on, is very busy indeed. Gonzalez again. Decker to the left again. Reggett making the move just at the back. And nobody's really picked him up yet. Here he is, tight angle. Mohamedi will calm things down. Ahmad Abbas now for Iran. And they will take this just to take a bit of a breather because it is all going on down there. So high one from Mohamedi, and now Moretti can start things again. So important for the United States if they can take advantage. Gonzalez! They can! Their first World Cup goal in 15 years since the last World Cup appearance. In 2008 against Portugal. Gonzalez here has smashed it in. Welcome to these World Cup finals, the United States. And now Iran are up to a full complement of players. to no avail. Ms. Malpour. Oh, Regis wasn't that far away, was he? 
on the slide. It's a strong challenge from Reggae to one end to the other. Oh, and there's a mishap here, and Iran have got a simple goal. Tava Kohli says thank you very much. Oh, it's a, a horrible moment between Vega and Moretti. And on the biggest stage, you're going to get punished. And Iran a level. Farhad Tabakoli. He fired in a couple of goals at the last World Cup. He was also a goal scorer in their recent Continental Futsal Championship final success in Thailand, in Bangkok. Strong challenge. There's a real zip about things now. Foul has uh, been awarded after the advantage against Iran. All about uh, fouls that are stopped. It always go against you, even with advantage being played. It's Tavakoli again, it's Mal Port, just seemed to stand on the ball there. Well, the United States, a first goal since they were beaten by Portugal. In 2008, they were beaten 8 1 on that occasion. That was the last time that they scored a World Cup goal. Thirteen years have gone by. Shown that they are here to compete, and the key thing for them is as well that they've been able to score a goal whilst at, a, at an advantage. And you can see it every single intervention. You can see it every single challenge that is made. They are together, this team. Everything being celebrated down there. There's never any serious expectation that they would go beyond the group phase. Considering the background of a lot of these players, don't play in a professional league, professional futsal league back home in the United States. The closest thing you'll get to an indoor game is the uh, major arena soccer. Fakim. Moretti with the stop. An important block as well from Daniel Matos. The only player to have felt the pain, and I'm sure he is still feeling the pain of uh, missing out for the 2016 competition. Losing to Canada in the qualifiers. That's Malpour. Badly poor from him. Klepo's got to be careful. Glenfield now. Here is Klepo again. Oh. Justin Yakitsa was urging Rafael Araujo to make more of his movement just in behind. It was a little static, there wasn't much going on there for Kleppel and for the United States. 
Liverpool, one of many who are a Brazilian born within this US side. There's a little nudge back and Araujo with the stop. Really good one too. Oh, and it's uh, coming together as well off the ball, including Araujo. And involving Shajari too. Might have just been uh, an innocent coming together as both. We're going in the same direction. Araujo and Shajari there. He's always going to hit it. And for a, an instinctive finish, one of his favorite players of all time was the uh, Brazilian Ronaldo. Throughout the 90s, and uh, that's why at some occasions when he is playing, he'll sport the number nine on the back of his shirt. Number two, here he is, here in Lithuania. Faker trying his luck. Was there uh, other players born in Brazil in Porto Alegre? Javid now for Iran. Moretti. Well, has lost out. Cannot dwell on the ball. It's certainly in that sort of area within your own 10 meters. It goes, it will be a corner. Oh, and free was Hassan Zadeh. Although it might have just come to him at an awkward height. But Iran are just starting to click through the gears a little bit here. Hazan Zeder again. He find an angle. Ooh. Looked as though he had. And there was a gaping gap there between Moretti and his near post. Only the side netting. Flicked on! And the height of Reggett is going to cause issues when going direct and aerially too. Oh, and it just got a little nick of the fingers there of Mohamedi. You're just joining us. Iran have had their goalkeeper sent off a handling outside his area of two minutes. As the set piece doesn't work out. But it might just work out for Iran here from one end to the other. And it's Moretti who spreads himself well. <laughs> Kevlar, oh, super, super goalkeeping from Moretti. What a save that was. Jab it again. And away to safety. Just look how well. He has reacted there. He will have seen that at the very, very last millisecond. And that quick change of feet and direction from the goalkeeper to get it away from danger. Sensational. Oh, and the header is wide. Attacking is Shajari.
could be in here again, they are. Madi Javid. Simple finish in the end, but it was all about the work of Muslim Olegobad. Fending off Ponteca. And Javid was not going to miss. It's turned around this one. And after the nightmare start from Iran, they now lead the USA by two goals to one. But it is Regat. He's taking it down nicely. Where's the support going to come from? Back for Ponteca. Gonzalez. Vega for Gonzalez. And that was a heavy landing. And a yellow card has been awarded as well. So the accumulated fouls are starting to really stack up now against Iran. Mohamed Shajari is the man that has gone into the book. I hope that Gonzalez is okay because Come down from a fair height. On the run of Boston again, in terms of the stats, by the way. In terms of possession, and they've had more attempts. But the foul count is creeping up, and this is how that second goal came about for Javid. who scored the winning penalty in 2016 in that third place game when they beat Portugal on penalties 4-3 after it finished 2-2 12 penalties shared and so much sure that Portugal actually missed their final two penalties the runner were beaten by the RFU 4-3 in their semi-final Gonzalez back for Buenfield as the game starts now. Gonzalez is okay. All good one for Pondeca, but a really good control. Gonzalez has to be careful. Buenfield now, and it's behind Luciano Gonzalez. Gonzalez, who scored three goals in qualifying, including in the semi finals and in the final when they were beaten by Costa Rica in the end. Or could have by Reggett once it back, but Gwenfield will turn and just look forward. Reggett again. Gonzalez. It was well read for Ponteca. Now Buenfield, a little bit of space. Reggett's up ahead if he can get his head up, and he can't. But this is Ponteca. Wide for Reggett now. And Thomas Ponteca wants more. What could the youngster do? It's another foul. And another yellow card. This time for Olakobad. Well, Coach Nazem Oshalia down there is just asking the question of the officials. But they've got to really sort out their discipline at the moment. Player sent off, and now Shajari and Olakobad are in the book too. Especially looking ahead to their uh, next game. They pick up two yellow cards within the group stage. And miss the next game. Gonzalez keeps it low and just looking for a touch. Nearly from Reggett and nearly from Pondeca too. Yeah. 
Fakim. A pulsating occasion. Reggett with the header clear. Incidentally, Iran had to four fouls, accumulated fouls. Any more after five will mean a free penalty shot from 10 meters out. The middle of the three dots that you'll be able to see on the court. Just need to wear Madabas's number nine of Iran. Klepo of Lansing City, founder of his own club. Across it goes. Oh, Moretti. Magnificent. But they were really stretched here. They looked as though they were really in trouble. And the final touch in the end coming back off Ahmad Abassi. You simply cannot take your eyes off this. Conley Cup with Pondeca, the Michigan born player. Montiego Moretti, 17 years playing in Italy. Mums from New York City, from New Jersey, in fact. Pondeca! There's a whisker away. That's to say that he's not been challenged as much as what he was as soon as he came on. Back at Mohamedi. The Samimi was sent from the court for handling outside his area. He says Malpour. Ned Tabakoli, a goal scorer. And brought Iran back level. The Gonzalez. Had scored for the United States in their first goal at this World Cup. Ahmad Abassi holds it up well! And the layoff to perfection. And the finish from Ismail Paul, devastating. Satisfaction from his coach. As Malpour has his second goal at these World Cup finals. It's beautifully worked. The weight of the layoff. And how about that for a finish? And a two goal cushion led by Ahmad Esmalpour. Halfway to eclipsing his four goals. That he scored in 2016. A player who doesn't play in Iran but in China for Shenzhen Jian Libao. The American voices getting behind their team, but here they come. Klepo. Klepo for Rajo! Blistering attack. And straight off his line, so quick, was Mohammadi. Araujo <laughs> just making the move, making that darting move. Zales, such a narrow corridor to try and find him. Movement again from Araujo, Pondeca to the edge. Doesn't work out. Three against one here. It says Maupour right across. Oh, and it should have been another one. For Fakim. He should have been celebrating scoring at these World Cup finals again. That's a big miss.
Green again here, Moretti denying them again here, and Fakim another goal. Across it goes, so oh, Moretti. I must be wondering how on earth he sort of not extended this lead. It's Maya Paul back in. And that uh, little flick from Tabakoli had been just nudged by an American player, defender. Foul against Araujo. Tabakoli and Fakim and Tabakoli again as the Iran fans find their voice again. And what is a terrific atmosphere inside the arena here in Vilnius. Fakim. And so a timeout has been called by Dushan Yakitsa. Got a minute to get that points across. Those guys now when you wait, then we can chop side. Yes, we have time. Lucho need to rest. We will put fifth attack. Okay. There is Lucho. Lucho. Yeah, right here. Yeah. You are here, Daniel. Okay. Okay. Two left foot players. We, we will wait one minute. He needs to prepare. And he's There's very junior. calm, isn't he? Here's Dushan Yakitsa. As we have a look at the goals again, Richard Gonzalez scoring their first goal of these finals, but then a horrible mix up at the back, proving costly. And finished off by Tabakoli, and then Javid also got himself on the scoring act. It's Malpour making it three. It's been a very, very good comeback from Iran. Thirteen years since their last goal at a World Cup finals, and uh, it's been a long time coming. But it's certainly got the pulses racing here in terms of the contest. Just that sinking feeling again now for the United States. Just as Iran have taken their chances, Javid Hassan Zadeh. Dushan Yakitsa. Preparation for this has been extraordinary, by the way. To think that they've been on the road for so long since they qualified. Not as if these players have been going back and playing at a top level for clubs and playing high end uh, friendly matches in preparation. A long time away from home. The players who don't play. At a professional level in the sport, who got jobs on the side. Kleppo! Oh, Sam Rekker, I beg your pardon. A man from Kenosha in Wisconsin, who has played professionally in the MASL. His debut year, he was actually named Rookie of the Year. That was back in 2018. Javid. Now Hassan Seda. Javid now, Shajiri. Happy to just have it on halfway. Movement 
Trying to work in behind the United States. And Sanzetta pulling wide. Javid. Shajiri. Sanzeda. Moretti. The way where the goalkeepers are in possession, they have a four second countdown to release the ball and get play going again. Shajiri. Chavit. Sanzada working this really well. This will be exhausting as well for the United States. As they simply just can't keep hold of the ball at the moment. Shajiri again. Xavi. Shajiri! Oh, that would have been some goal, you know. But for Moretti. And center of the goal, but the reactions he still needed to make it. Pondeca is cancelled out the corner, and off he goes, but he's all on his own at the moment. Oh, Pondeca, that is going to be a foul. A timeout has been called. It's actually... It's actually gone against. Well, it's actually gone against Pondeca. And it looked as though that would have been the fifth foul that Iran would have uh, conceded. And then it would have been towing a very fine line. For the final five minutes to serve. They're going to go fly already. Gonzalez, the man. Pontecker now. Gonzalez. It just gives that extra option, outfield option, especially with the creativity of Gonzalez, who has scored already. Another quick changeover now. Cut out by Ventura Junior. A move to the United States to join his brother, who was living in Boston at the time back in 2007. And now representing the United States at the World Cup. Hassan Zeno. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't think you'll see that that often. Ball doesn't end up in the back of the net, but he's. <laughs> His trainer does. It's a good finish, you know. <laughs> A player who is twinkle toes, dancing feet. Ali Hassan Zeda. Here is Gonzalez. They were if they can get a goal before half time here, United States. Still give them that belief. Gonzalez. Oh, there's a I have the ball moment here from Gonzalez. Matos, out wide now for Ventura Junior. 
Gonzalez on quickly, Pondeca. Zura Junior playing the central role. It's a fair challenge, and in the end, it is Ventura Junior who has just poked it very, very close to goal. Akmanovasi for Iran with 3.35 remaining on the clock. Pontecker looking to put the pressure on. Tabakoli now has to put the brakes on. Akman Abassi, that was not a good pass for him. And he's just put his point across to his teammate. They're on three, USA one, but still very much in this. Gonzalez, as this crowd, it really is starting to bubble nicely inside the arena. The atmosphere. Plenty of fans in, supporting both teams. Ventura back for Escobar now. Gonzalez, Escobar. That's a waste from Gonzalez in the end. Not from New Jersey. I've been playing in Italy. And he grew up in uh, Argentina, it would have been something very uncomfortable against Argentina the other night for him against the homeland. Abassi here switches it nicely. Taken down well by Tabakoli, but the block coming in, no nonsense. Not by Escobar. Pondeca. Like door closed on him very, very quickly. Decker has been playing on the European scene in France. A big save from Moretti as Iran look to find a, a way to go for a fourth time tonight. Listen to this noise. Out of the reach of Esmapo. Think of the United States' success back in the late 80s into the 1990s, 1992, held by the indoor soccer stars. Took them to silver. Moretti could save. And the likes of Jeff Agus playing, who went on to play football in the MLS and the USA 94 too. Amenabasi squeezes through. It's Maripol! Well held on to by Moretti. Now Ventura. And it from Escobar was good, but... Uh, might have just got a little nick on that at the bottom of the foot there from Moretti. Escobar hit... Uh, es I beg your pardon, hit this well. Capping off a terrific team goal. For his goal to make it three. Here he is again. Too close to Moretti. Launches it. Pondeca taking that down beautifully. Ventura for Pondeca. Quickly into his face was his mile ball. This is where Rana could. They just. Slow the game down as we're inside the final minutes. Oh, 
Hassan Zada now. Esmail Poor, Hassan Zeda taking it on. Cross quickly. Was Vega. Should be the other way, and it is. 28 seconds remaining on the clock. Team who've been crowned Asian champions on 12 occasions. 12 out of 15 editions. Are they going to get a free kick here? Yes, they are. Right on the edge. Right on the edge. Ahmad Abassi, two for company. A little pull of the shirt there. The reason why he went down. Are they to have the final say on what has been a crazy first half? Timeout has been called by Iran. The clock ticks down on the minute that they have. The chance for Saeed Nezem Asharia to get a point across. He's talking about how it, every team here has their own style and technical abilities, and what he wants to do is try and bring all of those together. And in their own way, Iran, how they play. They are a country, by the way, that is very proud of their own production line. They street football, honing their skills. Uh, the coach actually said that his parents wanted him to focus on his studies rather than play football. Uh, here on the futsal scene, his side had the chance to extend the lead further. Right on half time. There he is, Nazem Moshadia. There's a player at 11 aside for his country's under 20s before turning to futsal. Hassan Zeda. Is he going to be the man? Two on the post, including Vega. On the near post, this side. The giant figure of Moretti in the way. This will be a hammer blow for the United States if they concede here. Hassan Seda! And that is why you have a man on the post in Vega. Be kicking rather than a corner. Oh, Moretti forced into action again. He's been busy and making some big saves. 14 seconds remaining. Keeping his team in touch with Iran. A little bit of pushing, a little bit of shoving. A bit too much, really. The referee's liking. Javid. As Malpour stayed in play, this eight seconds. Pondeka took that down well. Big corner. Three seconds. Last play. Pondeka, and that will be that. An exhilarating. 20 minutes and more. A first half that has had four goals. We've had a red card. We've had two yellow cards. But it's Iran who have come back from falling behind to take a 3-1 lead into half time as they look to seal their place in the last 16 here tonight. Half time then, Iran 3, United States 1.
There's so much to talk about, so much to go through. And as Mayapur's goal to make it 3-1, just keeping the United States at arm's length from Iran, who if they win tonight, the results in the second game goes their way too, and they will be in the last 16 confirmed with a game to spare here in Lithuania. And the fans have enjoyed what they've seen out there in terms of their goals. But it didn't start particularly well, but they really then did start to take over and be the more dominant force in terms of possession and the amount of opportunities created and the saves that Moretti has had to make in goal for the United States. But look at that in terms of discipline down there too. Very nearly to five accumulated fouls, two yellows, one red. That coming for Ali Reza Samimi, their goalkeeper. So Lucho Gonzalez scoring to open the scoring in this one and for the United States before Tavakoli and then Javid and Ismailpour have Iran in control on the scoreline at least. Iran against the United States then in Group F, their second game of this group. Iran, who got off to a winning start, and the United States less so in their first game. But they got off to a good start here with the dismissal after video support of Samimi in the Iran goal after handling outside of his area. Couldn't take advantage of the set piece. But it didn't take them long to take the lead through Gonzalez and off and running in these World Cup finals of the USA in terms of goals. But then a catastrophe at the back. It really was. And the hands on the back of the head of the coach at the bottom of your screen there said it all. And back into it they were to have a Cully into an empty net. Diego Moretti made some blinding saves in that first half, he really did, and that was the best of the lot. But then Iran turned this game on his head. Great play down the right, and the ball across for Javid. With a simple finish, and Iran had turned the game around. And then a fast break, and it should have been another one. Ahmad Abassi will be wondering just how on earth he hadn't scored there, but his layoff here was perfect for Esmailpour as those Iran fans could celebrate another goal. The United States kept on coming forward and very nearly got themselves level. And the uh, flying boots of Hassan Zeda, a rather comical moment in what was a wonderful first half. They got a free kick right to the end, did Iran. Hassan Zeda was denied by Vega on the post. They're in control on the scoreline, are Iran, and they know that they have to win this to go through. So far, so good. Do join us for the second half. Oh, 
Welcome back to Vilnius, everybody. Really good game. Really, really good game. Iran leading by three goals to one. Thomas Pondeka, the youngest player within this squad. And now, at times, he has looked at home at the grand stage. And Diego Moretti is. He's been around a bit, but he has come up with some sparkling saves to keep his team in it. They took the lead, if you're just joining us, by the way, Lucio Gonzalez. After uh, a red card for Iran and their goalkeeper, Samimi. But then Tavak, Metavakoli, and Javid and Esmaipour have given Iran a 3-1 advantage. Incidentally, should Iran win this, then they are pretty much there in the knockout stages. What does the second half have in store for us? Wait for the signal. <laughs> I've met Abassi. So if we go then the second half here in Vilnius, this group have a fab. And Iran leading by three goals to one. They're a crazy old first half. But so important it is for the United States now if they are to get something from this game. As Pondeka looked to flick it on, direct out of the hands of Moretti. First goal, so important for them. And if they can get it first. A few occasions where they have gone long, generally into the uh, direction of Zach Reckett, but it's Pondeka. Wasn't that far away. Good start this from the United States then, as Gonzalez picks it up. Looking to use his quick feed away from Hassan Zeda. Anyway, we'll do from Mohamedi. I'm sure we'll not have expected to have been joining the entertainment as early as he did, which is two minutes on the clock after Samimi had handled outside of his area. Interesting comments from uh, Reza Nazeri, who is a, a former goalkeeper for Iran. Said that this team should be thinking of a top three place again here in Lithuania. And interesting as well that he was questioning the discipline of the team. The yellow cards and a red card. The previous game, well, they got two yellows and a red here today as well. Overall, praising the uh, potential mental composure of this Iran team. And that was Shajari. Well, Rekert was the target. Madabasi now holds it up well. His holder play has been very good tonight, and so much so that it also led to the a third goal for Ismail Paul. But they completed a move of 20 plus passes. On 
gone back up. It's gone out of play. Well, those Aram fans have not stopped chanting. Well, it's a proper indoor carnival atmosphere inside this place tonight. Vilnius has treated us very well, and the fans have come out in great numbers. Badabasi, well off target in the end for a player who's been uh, amongst the international scene since 2017. And one of the top scorers for the Iranian top flight last season, though his uh, team finished as a runner-up in the end. His 26 goals weren't enough to bring a league title. It's for Giti Passan. in play by Shajari. Manabasi, well challenged by Vega. And shout out to the uh, Milwaukee Wave, who's been a part of. And Zada. No way through. Cap 298 tonight for Hassan Zeda. I mentioned how his team are a force to be reckoned with. He wants to show the whole world here in Lithuania quality and power of Iranian futsal. It'll be another step in the right direction for them. They are to overcome the United States here tonight. Foul goes against Araujo. Is Hassan Zeda again. At his fourth World Cup finals. As Mayapur. Right now for Tavakoli. Oh, and they've lost now, but Pondeka couldn't take it with him. As Maupor stayed in play. Gwenfield, bit of confusion there. As Maupor has it back once again for Iran. Pondeka tightening up for the US. Araujo has got to be careful. Again, cannot spend too much time on the ball. Inside your own 10 meters. Oh, and looking to <laughs> see Moretti off his line. Long it goes again from Moretti. Well, he was fairly calm, despite the fact that his team were getting absolutely rumbled by Argentina in the previous game. Yakitsa. He's done so much as well, the United States coach, to developed younger talent whilst he was also working back in Serbia. It's just what he does. Been in the US for some seven years now. Jab it. On back of his back. Jeremy Kleppel then. Lay 
shameless. Oh, so is that from Mohammedi. Ventura. The United States will face Serbia next up, but it'll be a change of scenery for them, actually. They're not going to be playing here in Vilnius. They're going to be up to the coast to Klaipeda. Oh, that's lovely. This would be some goal. Now that have been finished off. Farhad Fakim laid on to him nicely. The more intricate finish. Klepo losing out. Fakim's there again. It's Maupol. That's a fine pass. Ventura will go his way, the kick in. Moretti forward, finding Reggett. There's some stiff competition with his mouth, Paul. Again, it's that long throw out from Moretti. Oh, now that Ventura can't get away from his mouth, but read him like a book. And that is as clean a challenge as they come as well on him. It's Malpour. There is Moretti. Read the situation really well. Goalkeeper who gave tennis and handball a bit of a go as a youngster. Fakim! On it goes again, and Mohamed gets it. Better the ball can start something again for Iran, but it breaks down and now Klepo, but it's behind Ventura. And that encouragement again from the side. As Malpur. Oh, give it away. And with Moretti way out of goal, too. That could have been very, very costly for the United States. You, you sense if a runner going to get the next goal, it could be curtains. Still with plenty of time to play in this one. Clap all away from his mile Can he keep his composure here? Oh, he's got a crossing, too. But Mohammed, he brings it out of goal now. He's got to release it. Time was running out for him in possession. That could have been costly as well. Here is Moretti, wanting the support. And he goes one way, Reggett says, no, I wanted it to feed. How long will it be until we see Moretti go off and Gonzalez take on the uh, fly keeper mode? And they have that extra outfield player. Tavakoli has Mile Paul. Faker for the United States. Gonzalez! Oh, he put the brakes on. Big chance on a swift counter. Well, that will give plenty of enthusiasm to these American players. Fakim, wrong side of the post. Matos, that's a fine pass. Reggett! Well, he had nothing else on. A 
two balls on the court at the moment. So we'll restart again, Hassan Zada. He scores uh, four more goals at this World Cup. Be amongst the top ten goal scorers in World Cup history. Here he is, a ten over the last three editions of the World Cup in futsal. If they talk about springing a surprise, as uh, their coach, Nazemo Shadia, was saying before this competition, nobody expected them to beat Brazil back in 2016, and they did. Everybody expected us to get thrashed. Oh, Moretti. Standing firm and denying Ahmad Abassi. Corner, which the skipper will take. Hangs it up. Hit well! Oh, and very nearly diverted in. That was hit beautifully from Sank Safidi. Hassan Zeda, well blocked. And now Kleppel can bring it away, and he's found the pass. It's Gonzalez! Ripples the net. But it ripples the outside of the net. Corner it is. Flaked up Matos. And the feeling sense of eating in his back. Shields it well. They've had a few counter moments now, haven't they, the United States? There is Gonzalez again, the architect. He ended the uh, qualifiers with five goal involvements. And they were staged in Guatemala. Matos, Gonzalez to the feet of Reggett and Gonzalez. Oh, Mohamedi, lucky boy. I not say he was always under control, but. Here's Reggett again. It's been a little bit sloppy around in possession. Reggett, no way forward. Ahmad Abassi, that's good. Just slowing things, calming things. It's been a bit frantic at times. Sang Zafidi. Approaching the final 10 minutes and the midway point of this second half. No goals have been scored. Kleppo, and off he goes. Araujo puts him where he wants it, and he was cut out well by Mohamedi and also by Sang Safidi. Matos looking for Araujo again. Moretti, cut out, picking up on the second balls, the loose balls, Iran. Sansade. Introduction of a, a little bit more energy. With Thomas Pondeka. Even their overall top scorer in their last cycle for the United States, Pondeka. And the turn was good and the poke was blocked. And there is that extra boost that he can bring. Ventura. Behind Araujo, I got a touch. And hope more than anything that 
There we go, the Americans away there from Araujo. Sanzada, Ahmad Abbasi. Sang Safidi now. Rahul just looking to block off Sang Safidi. He was making his move to that pivot position, but he was well blocked off in the end. Hassan Zeda again. Ahmad Abbasi making the move, and Moretti committed a long way out of goal. Seemed just a, a little naughty there on Araujo from Ahmad Abbasi, but no foul. <laughs> Hasn't been that kind of game in the second half in particular. Araujo holds it up, finding Ventura. Ventura, gotta be careful. It's just those final passes in the end, just lacking that quality for the United States. The run will stay here in Vilnius when they take on Argentina in their final game. It should it stay like this, and you would expect Argentina to win their game against Serbia, then there'll be a fight out between those two as to who will finish top of the group and which route they are going to be taking throughout the knockout stages. Foul by Namatian. With a bit of force behind that as well. On Pondeka. Oh. Well, there is simply no attempt to win the ball there from Namatian. No card. Ventura restarts. Kleppel for Ventura. As Marple. Eight minutes. The USA creates a finale for us all. Ventura. Be <laughs> nice birthday present if they could come away with something here, USA for Ventura. Is in position in possession. It's just 36 tomorrow. Moretti. As Malport for Iran. Oh, doing their bit to try and control things. Oh, that's soft. And uh, here they come. The United States, soft trying to get something out of that, Matty Javi. And Zach Reckett, <laughs> let him know about it too. <laughs> He's a joint top scorer with uh, Hassan Zadar in Colombia with five goals in the last World Cup. He's got a penalty in uh, normal time against Portugal in the third place game. Scored in the semi final two against the RFU. Tavakoli, here is Javid. And has a go. For a fair way out. Reggett. No support though coming his way. Every other player of the United States was back inside their own half when Reggett took that down.
For a block off there by Pondeka, not according to the officials, as Tavakoli has been sent tumbling. for these players, every one of them making their World Cup debuts. Realising what it takes to play against the best. There is Pondeka. He's a shining talent. Gonzalez. Pondeka just caught on his heels. Gonzalez is asking the question too. Tabakoli. Pondeka has cut that out. Klepel in support. Reggett over on the far side too. Finds him. Reggett hits it. And that got a touch off the fingertips of Mohamedi. Eventually got to him. Stinging drive, not quite in the corner. Pondeca, Gonzalez, as Malpour was there. Moretti, it's to go short rather than long up towards Reggett. It's not one of Lucho Gonzalez's finest moments. Both sets of supporters responding to each other. Moretti will fall on it. Reggett picks it out well. Reggett, Pondeca. Oh, and Gonzalez stay and play this. Gonzalez still scampering and bravely in the end, Mohamedi takes over. Hakim down the other end, Tavakoli. Oh, it's opening up now. Gonzalez, Reggett in there. Oh, they've scored! It's Gonzalez again! Do not write them off just yet. Gonzalez, terrific! And it's 3 2. Gonzalez with his second goal of the game. And the belief is there for the United States. What a finale we could have. Could they get their first points of this World Cup? But they stun Iran. Remember Iran who finished third at the last World Cup. One of the great names of the Asian scene. And Matos is getting ready with a goalkeeper shirt down there on the sidelines. He will be coming on soon and they will push for a leveler. If they can get a point out of this, it would be huge. It really would for the United States of America. Shajari. Ahmed Abassi now. Sank Safidi. Hassan Zedat, but close to him was Araujo. As we enter the final four minutes, it's all just a little tense and a little nervy. Hassan Zedat. And 
once more the captain. As it's all a bit of a cluster over on this near side. Oh, well, but by Gonzalez leading the way, and they will get the kick in on the far side of the court here, will the USA. And now the change to flykeeper is going to be made. Matos is on. Gonzalez just checks back to halfway. <laughs> to be the director of this American orchestra now. What a finish, 3.35 remaining. Klepper. Gonzalez, all about patience as well here. But the movement is so going to be needed to try and break through Iran. Pondeka in behind, Hassan Zeda. This is Klepo on quickly for Matos. Oh, and well cut out by Gonzalez. How easy did he make that look? Well, now the taller figure of Reckett has come on. Gonzalez to the feet of Reckett. Wide now for Matos. Ooh, so nearly caught. Gonzalez has not much going on ahead of him, it has to be said. Look at him pointing. It's a, a leader's role out there. Gonzalez! A timeout called. Timeout for Iran. 2.26 remaining on the clock. Well, we said it was important for Gonzalez and for the United States to be the scorers, the first scorers of this second period. Well, it's time to say, I'm reasonably safe and comfortable at the back of Iran, but the United States are growing in belief and confidence as this half is going on. 20 seconds or so now for... Here to get his point across. Let's have a look at the goal. Gonzalez executed across Mohammadi. Reggett was there as well. Might have just done the right thing there, Reggett. Just get out of the way in the nick of time. You have to get on with things now. The Hooter has been called. Here we go, 2.24 on the clock. Do they have enough left? Well, passes like that out will help a lot. Here is Luciano Gonzalez, back for Moretti. Pondeca now under pressure. There's some real pressure from Sanxafridi. They have got the kick in, have Iran. Shachari! Looking to plant that final nail in. Pondeca. The Iran fans have got a little quiet, it has to be said. Kleppel. Pondeca finds the angle to find the cross. And it's Shachari. And now it's Yakitsa's turn to have another word with his players. Go, boys, come on, come on. Where are you supposed to be? You're in the middle. 
You are in the middle. Junior, you are there. Okay. Go deeper here. Watch where is first line. Okay. Somebody is Zach, certainly not show flustered. up in the middle. Or gets flustered. Where is uh, Pondeca? Yeah, he gets up. Stay here. Go wide. Yeah. And where is fifth? Six languages. Jeremy. Yeah. You are there. Okay. Always try to, to make uh, block. If you if you see that he's a teacher turn, of electrical and mechanical ball, engineering, bring the ball inside. Dusan Yakitsa, massive lover yeah. of basketball Sometimes and a bit of folk dancing as well. Don't, 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 don't go too deep. Don't go too deep. If it is guy, Mohammed. Has been called into action a few times. Not just Dan at the other end, Moretti. Both goalkeepers have been busy. Some important saves. Gonzalez now. Man with the green. Racing back to get back into goal. Hassan Zeda. It's over a minute and a half remaining. Ahmad Abbas is running out of play. Pondeca looking for Gonzalez. It's a fabulous pass to find him. Ventura. Pondeca. Ventura now for Gonzalez. Rackets are out of position, and this is going to be the match winning goal for Iran. Heartbreak for the United States. But it's been finished off by Ahmad Abbasi. And this was always the danger. And Ahmad Abbasi, a true goal scorer. Let's just seal the deal on another victory. And they're going to come forward again here, Pondeca. Oh, he's going to get the uh, foul his way. With 62 seconds remaining, it will require something quite extraordinary. But when you play, with outfield five outfield players, you always leave yourself open. Here's Reggett. Gonzalez now. They'll keep on fighting. Klepo. Now Ventura. Force back. Ventura's got a bit fortunate with that. Clapper, can they have the final say on proceedings? Ragged! Now that would have been something quite special. Well, there's nobody in goal at the moment. So look to change Moretti and Gonzalez. Pondeca. They come around, they're coming forward in numbers. Hassan Zeda, wide. And play out the final 10 seconds. Oh, can they score a fifth? Hassan Zeda, it's over. Well, they pushed and pushed at the United States, and they have given a terrific account. But Iran have the win. Maximum points from their first two games. But how they've had to work for this one. Ahmed Abbasi scoring right to the end. After Gonzalez's his second goal had given them some hope, the United States, of getting into this at 3-2. Damage really being done in the first half by Iran. But that's two ins from two in Group F and heading in the right direction towards where they want to be. And that is amongst the contenders and challengers here at these World Cup Finals. Final time, a run four.
the USA took. Well, it was a great ask from the United States to try and stun Iran, one of the best teams here in this competition. And they took the lead, they gave it their all after a, a huge defeat at the hands of the world champions. For these Iran fans, how far can they go? How long are they going to be staying in Lithuania? The team who finished third at the last World Cup, they fancy going far here in Lithuania in 2021. It would take some ass for Serbia to get a result against Argentina and beat them. So Iran to take their place in the last 16. I'm going to go and get some reaction from Iran and their captain Ali Hassan Zeda will be ready to talk to us just now. Let's go downstairs. Salam Hassan, I wish you a lot of knowledge to know who بازی بازی خیلی خوبی بود ما ابتدای بازی قافلگی شدیم با اخراج دروازه‌بان توی صحنه قافلگی شدیم بازی فکر می‌کنم بعد از اون صحنه به هم بیخ اما ما تونستیم کنترل بازی رو دست بگیریم و برگردیم به بازی نشون دادیم که تیم با تجربه هستیم خدا شد سه امتیاز برای ما مهم بود که این سه امتیاز رو کسب کردیم و نگاهمون به آینده است به بازی های آینده about to uh, speak to us. But what a show that the Americans have put on here for their fans who have made as much noise as what the Iranian fans have done here in Vilnius. A really good atmosphere. And Iran with their second win here at the World Cup. And as it stands, we'll go to the top of Group F. And then we'll see what will happen with Argentina later. Let's get a word with Jeremy Kleppel. Jeremy, an incredible fight uh, compared to the last game. Just talk about the emotions, knowing that you guys were able to get this reaction. Yeah, I mean, this is our second World Cup game uh, for, for all, any of us. So getting the getting game in under our feet, I mean, obviously the first one was, was terrible. I, nothing went our way. We, Looked nervous, and and uh, but this game, we just said, you know what? Our attitude all along since CONCACAF to here was just, we're going to fight. We're, we're pa paving a path for future futsalers in the U.S. Um, you know, we're pioneering a movement in the U.S. for futsal, and so we take the same attitude every game. It's the sa same attitude this game. We're going to fight. It doesn't matter what the score is. We're going to come in, and we're going to compete. That's our attitude. We were able to get a couple goals in, and now you know you have something to build on for the last game. Just talk about that, what you can build for the next game. Yeah, I mean, in terms of what we can build on, we know what we can do. It's not a matter of us understanding what we can do. We know it. It's a matter of us getting games under our belt as a group and building chemistry as a team. I mean, even now, this is like our, our seventh or eighth game together ever. This is, this is it. So chemistry is a huge deal. So every game we play, we're going to get better. Thank you, Jeremy. Well, great words from Jeremy Kleppel. And just some of the numbers that he was talking about there, quite extraordinary in terms of where they are and how long they've been together and how far they have come. That's it from the coach, Dushan Yakitsa. He's ready to give us his thoughts. Coach, uh, just talk about the, the pride you have for this team and the reaction they were able to do from the last game to the second game to get a result. I know it's not the po most positive, but just the, the difference from the games. Yeah. Again, first I want to congrats Iran on, on the victory. Great game. We try, of course, to play different, different way than last game against Argentina. Uh, as you can see now, this team looks different. First, first impression on, on last game was they were scared. First time on competition like that. Now it's different. Now they are more relaxed. They are ready to go. And uh, again, we will be prepared also for next game against Serbia. 
it, it looked like the team had a belief from the first game minute to be able to do this. And even to the end, it looked like they believed. W what change in... A psychological preparation, preparation of the game. This is nothing, nothing, nothing else. We have a good warm-up on the court before, before the game. This is first time. And then they feel space, surface, uh, atmosphere and everything. And then this is different approach on the game. Now, obviously, you have a lot of emotions going into the last game, not only for the team to get a point, but you personally. Just to talk about pre preparing to play Serbia. I mean, I mean, that would be, of course, an emotional game. I was part of Serbian team. Of course, this is, there is a couple of my players, and then, you know, that would be a very tough game for me. But again, we will play like, like this game today. We will leave heart on the court. And for us, this is great experience. Don't forget that in the United States, we don't have league, we don't have competition, we don't have, we don't have professional players. For us, this is huge success. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you. It will be an emotional time for him when he takes on the homeland in their final game here in Lithuania. A proud coach and a proud coach of Iran is ready to speak. سلام خسته نباشید لطفا نظرتون در مورد بازی کوتاه بفرمایید تمام بازی جام جهانی خیلی سخته به تب ما به سمتیاز بازی نیاز داشتیم آمریکا با توجه به اینکه بازی قبلش رو با تفاضل گل بالا باخته بود اونم باید میومد دفاعی بازی میکرد به نظرم با یه بازی با یک صد دفاعی روبرو شدیم و کار ما خیلی سخت ممنونم Let's have a look at the stats then. 58 to 42 possession and the amount of opportunities created. Both certainly did, but far more for Iran. And the saves created, uh, made I should say, both goalkeepers very, very busy. But in the end, it's Iran who gets the victory. We must remember Iran were playing after their goalkeeper had been sent off for the first two minutes, but Gonzalez had opened the scoring before Tavakoli had equalized Javid and his Malpur. Adding to that, Gonzalez getting one back, but Ahmed Abassi right to the end, sealing it for Iran. And so they have qualified. It is confirmed that they will be in the last 16. Who they will play, we shall soon find out. But Argentina, can they join them? We'll soon find out. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now. Yeah.